And with the death of this Archon, I can finally have all Archon shard slots full. Assuming I can actually not get... Whoa, there's like three of them. Yep, that'll about do it. Before we go any further, for those who aren't really sure what Archean shards are, I will just have to mention this straight away. This is a huge spoiler if you've not completed the new War of Veilbreaker because you have to have completed both of them, including technically the Zaramon quest as well, to be able to use these to begin with. And if you haven't, well, I hold no responsibility for the spoilers that are about to come. Because after doing the Veilbreaker, you will be able to repeat the Archon hunt that you do throughout the new war quest. Technically you only do it three times, now you can do it once a week, getting your hands of, on one of three Archon Shards. After completing the Veilbreaker quest, you will also receive the blueprint for something to give to Helminth, because Helminth has a new section, as well as the Invigorations, his normal segment, there is also now the Archon Shard system. And as you can see, two of them. Now, the way that these work, there are basically three different shards. A blue one that is based more around health, shield, energy, armor, health regen. There is the yellow one, which would be nice if you would just let me... That works too. That is based more on maximum energy is filled on spawn. 30% 30% of your maximum energy is filled on spawn. Yeah, how does it define that one? Because it's weird. 100% effectiveness on health orbs. You'll notice this is also the only one I haven't got a Tau Forge of, which is slightly annoying. Casting speed is sped up. Parkour speed, velocity, is sped up. This is more of a maneuverability one. And then obviously, lastly, we have... Oh, spoiler. Oh, I don't have a normal raid one. Oh, well, well, technically, you can still see the normal stats anyway. This one that is based more on... Offensive, damaging enemies, because we have merely crit damage, primary status chance, secondary crit chance, ability strength, and ability duration. Then we get to the sad part of this, that if you go to this and you decide, well, I'm going to fit the amber one right in the middle, and yeah, that works, I'll have all of them, please. No, you can have one. That's right, out of the five different shards you can fit, you can pick but one of these perks. So, effective, effectiveness of health orbs, effectiveness of energy orbs, casting speed, velocity, yeah, not, not really going to that, but this is frost, so parkour speed please, and we'll just embed that in there. The Crimson Archon Shards, they drop from Mars, they are classed as offensive. There is the Amber Archon mods, yes, Amber. Of all the names they could have chose, Amber. These are from Jupiter, and they are utility-based, as they actually put them. And then there are the Azura ones. They are from Earth, and they are defensive. Then, obviously, as well, we have the normal Archon Shard stats. And then, you have a 20% chance of getting a Tau Forged one. 20% chance. And the first two, you pretty... Mm, does that every time. Pretty much guaranteed, and you'll notice the added bonus is kind of a weird one. 25% melee crit damage, but if we try the shard, it's 37.5. Because you can see it's the normal 25 with an added 12.5. Basically, on it's got an extra half on top of the normal one. So when it's got 10, they basically have 5. And these can be really handy. Melee crit damage every day of the week. Mm, kind of want to go for primary at the moment though, and we'll just throw that in there. But the same goes with all Tau Forged Crystals. You can see half of 150 is 75. It's the Tau Forged ones you're going to want on the frame you use all the time. And you're going to go health. Because why not? That could come in pretty handy. Oh, look, I've got this empty slot over here. We'll just do this. But do you go for shield capacity, maximum energy, armor? Hmm. I already have 150 armor here, so... Eh. This is frost. 
Eh, hey, why not? We'll throw the armor in again, make him even stronger. So on top of your base stats for your Warframe, you will end up with 150 armor twice, 15% parkour velocity, which eh, basically jumping speeds, but I kind of regret that one. Oh, I don't think I want that in there. We'll just, oh, Helminth needs, and you can see when we hover over any of these, the embodied shard can be removed and refunded with the following materials. Bile, which means obviously having to go back and feed Helminth because for some reason this says I have zero bile. Now, however, because obviously want to demonstrate not just them going in, the stat difference between a Tau Forged and a Normal Shard. Obviously, I would have preferred all of these to be Tau Forged, but no. Uh, parkour Velocity, well, you can literally do nothing at this point apart from maybe remove it. Primary Status Chance, no. No, we didn't want that. And... Yes, you can remove these, which means you can put them all on any frame you are using all of the time and then take them all off and put them on a different frame. It does mean using a lot of bile and that stuff is quite annoying to actually level up. So I wouldn't recommend doing this one too often, but yeah. Secondary crit chance, ability strength, ability duration. Obviously, we'll want to go ability strength because it's frost. <laughs> To be fair, no we don't. Secondary crit chance is probably better. Status chance, nah, merely every day of the week. And as we head into week six of the whole system being live so you can get shards, it means you can get another one and get started on that next frame. Which by the time you hit that five week point and you have got enough shards to put into one frame, you can get started on the next one when you get to six weeks. And as long as you do every one of Cal's missions every week, while you are also doing the Archon hunts, it means you can come and see Chipper and pick up another shard, meaning you can get two shards a week. Why am I not going in there and demonstrating this? Well, that comes down to the fact that I've already picked this up and picked it up yesterday, meaning I don't actually have it to pick up, even though you can probably tell from the little yellow waypoint I haven't done his mission this week, which if you do this right, as I may have mentioned already, there's a total of 105 points available here, unless they change something in the future. But you have to complete every single aspect of this to be able to actually do this. And that Cal Kill Quick, that is growing more and more annoying. I managed to do it last week accidentally, but during the junk run, it's just a pain. You don't get shards from him, however, you pick them up from Chipper, meaning you can get a total of two extra shards a week. Well, one extra shard, a total of two a week. And as long as these vary every week, which I'm hoping they do, because as you can see, the blue ones was two weeks in a row. When he saw the blue one, I didn't bother picking it up. But when he brought the yellow one, I couldn't resist. It had to be done. So be careful when you put these into a frame because removing them is going to take... I wish the resource it used every time changed. Like blue used bile, red used something else, yellow used something else. The fact it's all using the same helminth resource to remove. Yeah, you can literally go in here, go here, look at bile and go... Well, it's one of the items that's kind of... Much, much harder to actually level that up. And if you're at 95%, never use a resource to take it up that 5%. It's a waste of a resource. But I think we've gone on about this way too long, even though this was technically five weeks after I would like to do it. I had to wait until we had all of the shards, and then I kind of give it another week so we can actually see whether or not they're going to leave these coinciding with each other because they did last week and I was, excuse me, up there, really hoping that Chipper and the Archon shards that you can get from the Archon hunts were going to be different every week and they are because Chipper has a yellow one this week whereas the Archon hunt is red. They may be the same every now and then but hopefully not so you can pick up many shards quickly. 
but doing the Archon Hunt is still probably the best way to do it, even if it is a much harder mission, because of that 20% chance of getting a Tau Forged one, which in theory, the first two I got were Tau Forged. Don't think I'm getting another one anytime soon, mainly because instead of actually doing that mission, I decided to just buy one from Chipper, and I may get around to doing that this week, and that. Hmm, we'll see. And with that, we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.